It was the best decision that I've ever made for that dog. It fundamentally changed how she lived. <laughs> so my mom got Ruby when she could fit in the palm of your hands. I mean, my mom got her as like a six or eight week old puppy. So Ruby is 11. It's a friendly puppy. She's been in my family her whole life. We got her when she was a puppy. She was my mom's dog. And uh, she's part Shepherd, part Rottweiler, probably part a few other things mixed in there. Ruby, as she's gotten older, and this started probably when she was about six or seven, she started to really have a lot of problems with her shoulders. So her mobility in her front end is pretty rough. And it's because growing up on my mom, my mom had a, a piece of property out in the Central Valley in California and it was fenced in. So Ruby basically had like three or four acres that she could just run around and play on as a younger dog. And my mom had this deck that would look out over a river and it's very picturesque, you know, kind of got a little rolling hill. Well, and more ground squirrels than you could shake a stick at. And for a young dog, you know, a deck that looks out over a rolling hill filled with ground squirrels was just the perfect environment for her to just sit on that deck until those squirrels got a little complacent and then she would just launch off that deck, right? To go and chase them around the yard and they'd always end up in the hole. She never catch them. But that was like her favorite thing to do. But every time she'd come off that deck, she's dropping probably six, seven feet and landing on those front paws that whole time. And so I think that's a big part of what's happened in her shoulders. Ruby takes her arms out to the sides every time that she needs to take a step, right? So that front arm comes out and then she kind of gets the next one that little arm and goes up. And because she just doesn't have that motion in her shoulders to be able to freely move her front legs. Her first walk of the day was always a relatively short and kind of a slow walk with some, some fairly visible limping that she would do in there in the morning, especially in the winter when it would get colder. She's had her big barker for over three years, right? It's, she lives on that thing. <laughs> she's the older lady, so she sleeps a lot, right? But we get up for our morning walk and she gets out of bed. I mean, it still takes her, she's 11. It takes her, you know, some effort to get up off of that bed, but she gets up on her own steam and, and she manages to get up on her feet and she'll, she'll jump around at 11. She'll jump around and play with you in the living room in the morning. And that is probably the biggest difference that I saw is this dog that went from barely being able to walk when it got up in the morning after that long night to being, that's her favorite time of day now. She plays, she runs around and I'm just like, you're an old lady. How can you be jumping around like that now? She has the, I think it's the extra large barker. It's, it's actually for dogs bigger than her. Uh, but I wanted her to be able to stretch out because that was what she didn't have on her old bed. She would always curl up into a ball and so her arms were always tied in, her knees were always tied in so that she wouldn't be hanging off the edge. Now, at least once a day, my dog rolls onto its back and both of its front feet are just like, at least one or the other are just pointed into the sky, you know, where she can take all the pressure off of her shoulders completely because she's laying completely on her back. The internet knew I was looking at dog beds. And so then after a while, Facebook's like, you know, there's this company called Big Barker that makes dog beds. And I was just like, oh man, that's like the Cadillac of dog beds, you know? <laughs> And I was like, ah, you know, it's, it's, it's too fancy. Like, I don't know. If, if it's half as good as they say it is, it's totally worth it because I won't have to keep buying crappy beds all the time. And so I, I was like, okay, <laughs> let's get one of those. And we did. And I, it was the best decision I ever made. I mean, I made it out of kind of a financial decision was kind of why I made the decision, but it, it was the best decision that I've ever made for that dog. It fundamentally changed how she lived. I didn't expect that. I just thought I was spoiling my dog with a fancy bed that I wasn't gonna have to replace every six months.